So over the weekend, I went to the Show Me Snakes Reptile show. I didn't film and I didn't plan on picking anything up, but of course I ended up coming home with a couple spiders who we need to rehouse today. So I actually ended up purchasing this. It is a Firmictopus at Richinomatis. Good luck pronouncing that one. So this is not a species that I was actually familiar with. I just saw it and I was like, wow, that's a really cool black sling. I actually don't own many Firmictopus. I think I only own one species. So we are going to, of course, rehouse it into a tarantula crib. This is actually their old cube design. They've since actually modified it and made it even better, but I just had this and I thought we could reuse it for this little guy. This is actually a nice size for the tarantula. However, I do want to, you know, supply a little bit more substrate and make the enclosure a little bit nicer and more aesthetically pleasing just for my sake. <laughs> So of course, first let's go ahead and put in some cork and I also wanna put in some moss. I have just a little bit of leaf litter left. I thought we could spread around the enclosure. And this adorable little mushroom house I found on Amazon, I believe it was. And the good thing about it is that it doesn't have a bottom so the tarantula can take it and like burrow down into it. And then I also have this like random little piece of a plastic plant. I don't know where this came from, but I just found it the other day. A little more leaf litter. And this is what the enclosure looks like. Not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get this in there. Um, I'm expecting some drama, just probably mostly speed, but it is still little, so. This thing is so pretty. It's like black, black. Really, really pretty species. I can't believe I don't have this species. I wanna Google what it looks like as an adult because I really just don't know. For Mick Topaz. They like grow to be like a purpley black color. It almost reminds me of a Xentha species. Aslings, Firmictopus species do appreciate deep moist substrate and the major majority will burrow. Again, I don't have too many Firmictopus species, but they all generally like the same. This little one is like already going on an adventure. Wonder if we can just make this easy. Oh, oh, maybe we can just. Um, excuse me, you are going in the wrong direction. Oh, wow, look at that attitude on the bum. <laughs> the way that it's holding its butt up and those big curious steps. Oh, I love that. I love when they walk like this. It's so funny. No, 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 no. Stay in there. Stay in there. <laughs> So yeah, that's the only tarantula that I got, the only thing that I actually bought, but I was also given a gift. I'm sure you can see right here, there is an egg sac. This is a Phytopus regius, the peach color form. It was gifted to me from somebody called Twisted Morphs. I was really hoping that she would not drop this egg sac until after I filmed this video because I wanted to take her out and like really show you how cool her coloration was. But of course, the last night she started webbing up and I was able to actually take some footage of her her building her nest. I'm 
Unfortunately, she did it overnight and my camera died, so I missed the part where she actually was dropping the eggs, but I also got the tail end of her continuing to build up the nest, which she is still working on. I don't think it's complete yet. She's put lots of layers down. That looks like a really big egg sack. That looks like a lot of babies. I'd really like to get more into raising these up and selling them myself at expos. I don't think I want to sell them as small as I did last time just because it's so dicey. I really want them to be more well established before I sell them, although the price will be a little bit higher than because obviously I'm going to be putting a lot more of my time into actually raising them. But I digress. Uh, let's go ahead and build her somewhat of a maternity enclosure. I obviously am not going to disturb her or her nest. I'm not going to relocate it. Again, that's why I really wanted her to wait to lay the egg sack until after I put the enclosure together. But I think we can make this a pretty simple enclosure and, you know, still leave her undisturbed. So I have a tarantula cribs cube. This is the newer one. I really love these newer ones. They're actually thicker with bigger magnets. And also you can get this extension for them, which is gonna be perfect for this. So we can do, yes. And this is gonna be great because of course the babies are going to come up to the top and the sliding canopies are really hard to get the babies out of just because you have to like, your paintbrush can't like bend and stuff. But this, this is perfect because the whole top just comes off. I'm gonna actually leave them in there with mama for a little bit longer than I normally do and that's why I wanted to baby proof this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape it down from the inside and then I'm gonna take a little needle and poke tiny little holes in some of the ventilation. But we'll have to be really careful about getting this tape to lay down perfectly flat because obviously we don't want any of the babies trying to get under the tape in which case they'd get stuck and there's nothing I could do with, uh, about that. So I'll go ahead and lay down the tape and then we'll pick right back up. I ended up putting a couple layers of it on some areas just to be sure that all the loose ends were held down. And then I also did the same to the vent holes here up on the top. So now all I have to do is poke a needle through each individual hole. I think I'm going to copy them and I'm going to glue moss down as the substrate. I'm not gonna do dirt. And I'm going to glue it down to the bottom because I want it to, you know, stay. Let's go ahead and glue down just a couple of mushrooms for decor just to make it more fun. I want to start experimenting more with jumping spider enclosures. Like I do, of course, prefer that just the naturalistic look like that is just my preference, but I think it can be achieved without substrate and like doing stuff like moss on the ground for substrate. Like I think it can be achieved in other ways. Um, if that makes any sense, I don't know, but that's pretty cute. I'm not going to put in a piece of cork or anything like that right now. Um, I'm actually going to just leave room in here so that I can, you know, take this and put it just like that. So mom's gonna be able to come out and walk around. And once the babies hatch, you know, they're going to be coming out of these holes and I'm gonna just take the whole bottom off so they can get out too. And then they'll come into this and be secure. So uh, for now, I'm not putting a piece of cork or anything in there. I was actually just going to put these little wooden shelves I have, just a bunch of these. So we are just going to put mama in just like this. I'm gonna actually just unscrew this. She's right there on her egg sack, as you can see. And we will just put it down just like this. So this way she still, you know, has her egg sack and everything, but she can still come out. So there we have it. It's just a really simple little secure enclosure. And once the babies hatch, they're all gonna have plenty of room to wander around. They're gonna be secure. They're not gonna be able to get out. And I'll be able to keep them together longer and raise them together longer. Because personally, I think the success rate is better. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did, subscribe if you're not, and you will be. Don't forget I'm in Instagram, there's probably way too much as I that cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and it's is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pics. Guys, I don't know why, but I just finished filming and I noticed that she's coming out. I think she's just curious about what's going on. I don't want to disturb her too much, but you can see her beautiful colors, right?